Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Towson University men's basketball tonight from CQ Arena. It is the Towson University Tigers taking on the Retrievers of UMBC. For the Tigers, they come in with a record of 4-5. and five. Their last game was Saturday night. They lost at Vermont by a score of 55-38. to 38. For UMBC, they come in with a record of 5-5. Five and five. Their last ball game was a loss to St. Francis at home on Saturday night by a score of 63 to 60. Both of these teams would love to have this victory tonight for the Tigers and for the Retrievers. It is the night before exam starts. So for Towson, this is their final game in 10 days. They will not play again until a week from Friday when they take on Liberty in the first round of the uh, Entertainment and Sports Arena Tournament down in Washington, D.C. for UMBC after tonight. They are not back in action um, until uh, they play Coppin on Sunday at 1.30. So their break is not quite as long as the Tigers' break due to exams. Towson going to have to find a way to get the ball in the basket, which they could not do on Saturday night against Vermont. That was a game that was 33-32 to with just over 10 minutes remaining in the ball game, and the Tigers then got outscored by the Catamounts by a count of 22 to six over the final 10 and a half minutes of that ball game. Towson gonna have to get a better performance from Brian Fobbs. Brian had 18 against Morgan on Wednesday night. The Tigers won that game 76 to 59. No Tiger got into double digits on Saturday against Vermont, which is not surprising when you consider that the Tigers only scored 38 points in the ball game. But uh, Towson, tonight looking to get back to 500 before they start exams tomorrow and this is a game the Tigers always kind of point to is a great uh, barometer playing the local schools. The Tigers lead the all-time series 39 to 20 so this will be the 60th meeting between these two schools. They have met every year since 2008. The last time the Tigers lost to UMBC was in 2012, 66 to 62. The Tigers have won six in a row, including last year when they won a double overtime game at UMBC's new arena over in Catonsville. So it is the Tigers and the Retrievers tonight. When we come back, we will hear from the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. From Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. Whether you're looking to relax and unwind or focus on pain relief from muscle tension, William John Massage Studio has a service that fits your needs. Visit WilliamJohnMassageStudio.com to book an appointment today. It is the Towson University Tigers getting set to take on the retrievers of UMBC. We had a chance to speak with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, about tonight's ball game.
time on some full court pressure, similar to Morgan, which we handled pretty good, so we'll, we'll adjust our broad press offense again to, to do that. We, we've still got to get the ball. Um, when we're not in a, a flow game, we've got to get the ball inside, whether that's the Sanders or Fobbs and, and, and Allen on you know, some post-ups. We're expecting them to double. But what we've got to do is get it out of the double, which we did the other night, but more important, we've got to get it out of the double cleanly. You can't pass it like a guy's shoelaces or behind them, and then if you receive the ball, you can't shoot that shot because it's not clean. I think that's the next step for us. I thought like we're watching the film of the night in some key possessions. They they made you know, three second half and the shot clock threes where they really delivered the ball on time, on target. And then you saw some plays less where I think we had the right intention, but it just, it just wasn't clean enough to beat a really good team. You have to help our shooters make shots. So that's something we've been trying to hop on a little bit more. So kind of like a quarterback hitting a running back in stride on a pass so that he can not have to worry about, you know, anything else. Yeah, we try to you know, drill on time, on target. Um, and I think we've got some guys that I expect to shoot the ball well. Um, they've been in a lot the last couple of days and excited to be back here, but we've a big piece of it is, is our ability to deliver it. And, you know, I would also say that with the ball screen stuff, we, we have good size guys, strong. We've got to wait for ball screen to slow down a little bit so that the screens are set and then we can get in the lane and find guys, you know. One other thing, you look at the team and, and the performance the other night wasn't what you wanted against Vermont. But the one thing that you did do is you did defend. I mean, you look at the CAA standings and you guys are where you're right at the top in the opponent's field goal percentage and, and you're leading the league in, in opponents. Yeah, I mean, look, if we can continue that all uh, year, we'll be where we need to be and where we all hope to be around this program. Um, so that, that can't slip. And I, I say that because we have guys that uh, are eventually going to find their stride on offense. I really, I really believe that. We're not going to, you know, alter it or change it. We're going to stick to the script and keep getting better at it and, and, and hopefully, you know, really narrow it and focus on, on, on one or two things. So I, I do believe it. But we do have to keep guarding. And, you know, you see what you want to see. What makes you scared as a coach is you look at um, two of the last three games, look, beat Drexel from our league by 25. So you're like, that's eye-opening. And then they turn lost to American by 24. So you know they're dangerous. And like you said, there's a lot of different guys that are alive. So you, you know, you, you've got to really do what we do well. And, and not, so, not that you're not worried about the opponent you are, but you've got to focus on what you do well, too. All right, Coach, good luck tonight. Thanks. Coach Pat Scary as the Tigers get set to take on UMBC this evening. And you talk about a lot of different lineups. They have played 10 games. And UMBC has started 12 different players. As a matter of fact, there are only two players on their roster that have not gotten a start this year. So, and it's it's all due to injuries. I mean, they they the guy who has started the most games is L.J. Owens. He has started all 10 that UMBC has played. Brandon Horvath, who is not starting tonight, <clears throat> has started nine. So you look at their starting lineup tonight, which is L.J. Owens, who has started 10. You've got K.J. Jackson, who has only played in six of their ten games. He's starting tonight. Jack Schweitz, who has played in nine games, started four. Max Curran, who has played in seven games, started one. And Daniel Aiken, who has played in nine games and started seven. So you just constantly have separate lineups for UMBC. They haven't been able to get much continuity going there. But at the same time, they haven't played the... Uh, the toughest schedule in the world either to be at 5-5. Five and five. You look at their schedule from this season. They have played uh, two schools already that are not Division I. Valley Forge, who they opened their season against and beat 134-46. to 46. That was a school record for most points scored in the game by UMBC. And then on November 13th, they played St. Mary's from down on uh, Southern Maryland, beat them 79-57. to 57. And they still got a game coming up. Uh against Penn State York. Oh, excuse me, I forgot another one. Georgian Court, wherever that is, they played on November 16th. So they are going to play four games against non-division ones. People complain when Towson plays one. UMBC is playing four, 
four non-D1s over the course of this season. They have lost at LSU this year, 77 to 50, so obviously that is a quality loss. There are other losses to Eastern Michigan and Nichols State. They did beat Drexel, as Coach Scary alluded to, one of the Tigers' foes in the CAA, and they beat him handily, 85 to 60, that game being played at UMBC. So it is the Tigers and the Retrievers here tonight. For the Tigers, they've got to get back on the winning track, scoring just 38 points against Vermont. That's exactly half of what they scored against Morgan State last Wednesday when they scored 76 against them, had also scored 76 against St. Joe's. So aberration, whether travel had anything to do with it because the Tigers were supposed to fly out Friday night couldn't because of mechanical issues with the plane didn't fly out until Saturday morning did that hurt them they, I mean it was a one point game with 11 minutes to go and the Tigers end up losing by 18 so or 17 so it could have been a factor down the stretch although Towson will not use that as an excuse Tigers are led by Brian Fobbs who's averaging 14.3 points a game Alan Beatran is averaging 12.2 points a game they are the only two Tigers that are in double figures coming into this contest. For UMBC, K.J. Jackson leads them with 13.5 points a game. And L.J. Owens, who the Tigers have faced before, twice last year, he played for William & Mary, was one of the top rookies in the CAA last year when their head coach, Tony Shaver, got fired. L.J. decided to transfer and got a waiver because his coach was fired and uh, does not have to sit out this season and is playing for UMBC. He and uh, Jackson are the only two Tiger, the only two retrievers that are uh, averaging double-digit points so far this season. So it is the Tigers and the retrievers here tonight. We should tell you that Travel Stead Transportation Group, your single-source logistics solution for all events, exhibits, retail, and hospitality, a Maryland company with a global reach. Visit us online at TravelStateGroup.com or call us at 1-888-435-8025. We will come back with the start of tonight's ball game from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. Hey, how can I afford gas for that big SUV? I pay less for gas than everyone else. I got the free Get Upside Gas app. and get up to 25 cents a gallon cash back every time I buy gas. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You get up to 25 cents off a gallon with the free Get Upside Gas app? Well, I'm paying full price. You know it. People earned over a million dollars last year. You just got to take a picture of your gas receipt and bam, up to 25 cents a gallon cash back. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm downloading the free Get Upside Gas app now. Download the free GetUpside app now in the App Store or Google Play to save up to 25 cents a gallon when you buy gas. Use promo code BUCK for a 20 cent gallon bonus on your first tank. That's up to 45 cents a gallon on your next tank. Just download the free GetUpside app at the App Store or Google Play and use promo code BUCK. Save money on gas on every fill-up. Download the free GetUpside app and use promo code BUCK. That's B-U-C-K. This is a warning. Don't talk to the IRS before you speak to the tax problem solvers at SH Block Tax. Hi, Scott Garceau here, and I'm talking about Stanley Block. He's been practicing tax resolution in Maryland since the 90s. Don't face the IRS or Comptroller on your own. Call him and mention my name, and he'll give you a completely free analysis of your tax case. Call now, 410-727-6006, or online, mdtaxattorney.com. That's mdtaxattorney.com. CBS Sports Radio 1300 is WJZ AM Baltimore, WJZ HD3 Titusville Baltimore, online at radio.com. It's time for Tiger Hoops on the Towson Sports Network. This broadcast is brought to you by the Maryland Lottery, Delta Hotels Baltimore North, with Real Bank and Subway. Now, let's go courtside with Spiro Marinkus.
Towson University Tigers marching band with the national anthem as we are here at CQ Arena. Been a long time, almost forgot how to get to the place. Tigers haven't played here since November the 11th when they lost in overtime to Kent State, 84 to 80. So uh, 29 days between home games for the Tigers. It will not be that long between this one and the next one. Tigers are back here on Saturday, December 28th to take on Northeastern at 2 o'clock. And then Monday, December 30th, the first weekend of uh, conference play, and the Tigers will play Hofstra on a rare Monday 2 p.m. day game. Uh, so the Tigers, 2 o'clock on Monday, December 30th, as they will take on Hofstra on that uh, day before New Year's Eve. The following day, the Tigers will fly out to Charleston, South Carolina, spend New Year's in Charleston, and take on the Cougars that Thursday before taking on UNC Wilmington the following Saturday. So four conference games in eight days for the Tigers coming up at the end of December and early January. But tonight, it is the Retrievers of UMBC. Here are the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. For the visiting Retrievers of UMBC in the backcourt, L.J. Owens. Owens, a six foot 365 pounder, Went to the Severn School in Annapolis. Transfer from William & Mary. Of course, the Tigers know him well. LJ on the season, averaging 10 points per ball game, which is second best on the team. Also has 16 assists, which is also second best on the team. But his ratio, not good. He's got 23 turnovers, which leads the team. Also in the backcourt, KJ Jackson, six foot two senior out of Missouri City, Texas. Jackson averaging 13.5 points a game, which leads the team. Also uh, averaging 3.7 rebounds per ball game and has 21 assists, which is second best on the team. Jack Schweitz, six foot five sophomore out of Frisco, Texas. Schweitz is averaging 4.2 points per ball game, 3.2 rebounds per game. Max Curran, a six foot nine senior out of Hookset, New Hampshire. Curran comes into this game averaging 3.3 points a game and 3.3 rebounds per ball game. And Daniel Aiken, a six foot nine junior out of London, England. Aiken comes in averaging 6.8 points a game, 4.2 rebounds per basketball game. For the Towson University Tigers in the backcourt. Ja'Kai Dotton, six foot two sophomore out of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Ja'Kai comes into the game averaging five points per ball game, 3.1 rebounds, and leads the team in assists with 24. Allen Beatran, six foot five sophomore out of Philadelphia. Allen second on the team in scoring at 12.2 points a game, 3.2 rebounds per ball game. Brian Fobbs, six foot five senior out of Rochester, New York. Guy the Tigers are counting on. And uh, the one thing that Coach Scary has said is that, you know, Brian hasn't had a breakout game yet. So he's got to have that. He does lead the team with 14.3 points a game and 4.4 rebounds per ball game. Also up front for the Tigers, Dennis Tunstall. Dennis, six foot nine, redshirt senior out of uh, Willingboro, New Jersey. Dennis comes into this ball game. He is averaging five points a game, 5.9 rebounds per ball game. And the fifth starter for the Tigers, Nakai Sanders, the six foot eight senior from Staten Island, transfer from Duquesne. Nakai comes in averaging 8.3 points a game and seven rebounds per ball game. Tigers in their home whites, black numerals, black and gold trim. UMBC, black uniforms with gold trim. Tigers will move right to left to start this game. As uh, Nakai Sanders sent to jump it up. And he will jump it up against Max Curran. For the first time in a month, we are underway here at CQ Arena. Tap is controlled by the Tigers. Goes back to Fobbs, who gives it off to Dotton, who brings it over midcourt. Ja'Kai, top of the key to Tunstall. Swing it on the left wing to Fobbs. UMBC in a man-to-man. -man. Back up top, Dotton dribbles around to the right side. Feet up top to Sanders. Foul line jump shot is in and out, no good. Rebound is grabbed by Daniel Aiken. Aiken brings it over midcourt, gives it to Jackson. Jackson will dribble to his left, being chased by Dotton. 
Jackson top of the key, passes on the left wing to Owens. Owens covered by Beatran, back up top, Jackson swinging around into the right corner to Curran, drives the baseline, reverse layup, not even close in the rebound, grabbed by Sanders. Sanders to Fobbs, quickly down the floor to Beatran. Beatran back out to Bryan, and Fobbs will feed it top of the key to Sanders. Over on the right wing, Dotton. Dotton up top, Fobbs for a three-point shot, and he nails it. Brian Fobbs, who is just six of 40 from three-point range, makes that three, and it's three-nothing Tigers. Over midcourt comes K.J. Jackson. Jackson gives it to Kern, hands it off right side as he gets it to Schweitz. Swinging around left side to Jackson. Jackson double team, feeds it left of the lane to Aiken. Aiken has it knocked away by Tunstall, and then a uh, struggle for the ball, and they call a jump ball, which will go to UMBC with seven left on the shot clock, although that will be changed, I believe, to 20. Nope. Nope, no change, so they keep the shot clock at seven. Inbound, left corner to Aiken. Aiken up top to Owens. Owens gets it into the left corner to Schweitz. Back up top, and a shot clock violation. Owens didn't realize that shot clock was winding down. So the Tigers will get it on the UMBC turnover. Three nothing, a minute and a half into the ball game as Beatran has it in the backcourt. Allen brings it over midcourt, feeds it up top to Tunstall. Tunstall on the left wing to Fobbs. Fobbs back up top to Beatran, dribbling around to his right, feed up top to Sanders, gives it off to Fobbs. Fobbs to Tunstall, 12 on the shot clock. On the right wing to Dotton, Dotton to the foul line, back up top to Sanders, hands it off to Fobbs. He'll launch another three, he nails another three. Brian Fobbs, two of two from three-point range to start this one off, and he's got all six points scored in this game. Jackson over midcourt. Sanders comes out to pick him up along with Dotton. Now drops off. Feed on the right side to Schweitz. Schweitz throws it out top to Owens, fakes the three, dribbles in. 18-foot jumper is good by L.J. Owens, and it's 6-2 to two, Towson with 17.44 remaining here in this first half. Over midcourt comes Dotton. Dotton hands it up top to Tunstall. Right wing to Fobbs. Fobbs gets it up top to Beatran. Beatran going to drive into the paint. Puts up a floater off the side of the rim. No good. Out of bounds off of Nakai Sanders. It will be UMBC ball. 17-24 to go first half. 6-2 to two, Towson leads. As K.J. Jackson brings it over midcourt. Passes on the right wing as he gets it to Owens. Owens Feeds on the left wing to Jackson. Jackson has it stripped by Tunstall. Dennis flips to Fobbs. Fobbs back to Tunstall, lays it up and in. Great fast break between Fobbs and Tunstall. And the Tigers up 8-2 with 16.57 to go in the half. Feed into the right corner to Curran. Curran being covered by Tunstall. Up the right side to Schweitz. Swinging around left side. They get it to Owens. Owens bounces it left of the lane to Aiken. Turns, faces the basket on Sanders, drives in. Little scoop shot is up and in. Nice move there by Daniel Aiken around Nakai Sanders, and it's 8-4 Tigers with 16.33 to go here in the first half. Dotton over midcourt, feeds to Tunstall, right side, get it to Fobbs. Fobbs right of the lane to Sanders, spins, spins, puts it up, blocked, but Tunstall gets it. Little right-handed push shot, no good, and UMBC comes away with it. Owens on the ground, grabs the rebound. UMBC brings it over midcourt as K.J. Jackson has it. Jackson going to drive, flip it in the right corner. Owens for a three. No good. Tap by Curran. No good. We've got a whistle and a foul. That's on Brian Fobbs. That'll be his first and the first team foul on the Tigers. As a matter of fact, first foul in the ball game as we've played three minutes and 59 seconds. And Curran will go to the free throw line to shoot two. He's 10 of 15 on the year from the foul line. UMBC, not a good free throw shooting team at 60.8%. First free throw, though, by Curran is good. Tigers will substitute four players. Jawan Gray, transfer from San Diego in. Jason Gibson, freshman. Charles Thompson, freshman. Nick Timberlake, redshirt freshman. 
Gray, a junior. So three freshmen and a junior come in. The only guy that stays out there from before is Brian Fobbs. So Curran now will put up the second free throw, try to cut it to two. Takes a deep breath. Now a couple of dribbles. Dips, puts it up, made it. Eight to six, Tigers by two with 16.01 remaining here in the first half. So Gibson will bring it up the floor for the Tigers. Over midcourt, standing there is Jackson. Gibson dribbles to his right, feeds up top to Gray. Back to uh, Gibson on the right wing, back up top to Gray. Feed on the left side to Timberlake. Timberlake left corner, Gray fakes the three. Now Jawan going to fire it, no good. Rebound and a foul. Nicholas Timberlake goes over the back of L.J. Owens. That's a foul. We've got a timeout. 15-38 remaining here in the first half. Our score, Towson 8, UMBC 6. For Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. For over 100 years, Weiss Markets and its associates have worked hard to offer their customers the best combination of value, quality, and service. Visit the Weiss Markets near you today. Eight to six, Tigers are the leading call. UMBC Clean with 15-38 remaining here in this first half of play. Tigers jumped out to a 6-0 lead on back-to-back -back threes by Brian Fobbs, but UMBC has outscored them 6-2 to two since then. Our officials tonight, Earl Walton, Paul Fea, and Donnie Epley. UMBC, two of three from the field. Tigers are three of seven. Turnovers, two for the Tigers, one for the Retrievers. So they have the ball as we start this Half up again, over midcourt comes Owens, feeds it to Jackson, who tries to drive and is fouled by Jason Gibson. And that'll be the third team foul on the Tigers in a span of about 32 seconds. First on Gibson. So Jackson will put it into play. KJ gets it into the backcourt as he feeds it to Owens. Owens over midcourt. Passes back to his left to Jackson on the wing to Curran. Curran back up top to Jackson. Jackson looks on the right side as he gets it to Owens. Going to drive five on the shot clock. Goes up with a shot. No. And Nick Timberlake just got hit with his second personal foul. And to the free throw line will go L.J. Owens. LJ 77.3% on the season. Alan Beatran set to come in for Timberlake. Owens first free throw on the way is good. Eight to seven, Tigers by one. Aiken leaves for UMBC and in for the retrievers. Dimitrie Spasoyevich. Spats, Say that 10 times. Spasoyevich. Owen's oh, second one is good. Spasoyevic, a six foot eight junior from Serbia. Transfer from East Carolina. 
We're tied at eight, 15-10 to go here in the first half as Beatram brings it up over midcourt. Beatram bounces the top of the key to Thompson. Thompson on the right wing to Fobbs. Fobbs back to Beatram, going to launch a three-point shot. In and out, no good. Rebound grabbed by Schweitz. Schweitz gives it off to Owens, who brings it over midcourt. Dribbles to the top of the key, moving to his left, cuts back to his right, feeds it to Curran. Curran makes a move past Beatran, banks it high off the rim, no. And then uh, the ball lost out of bounds by Spasoyevic, and the Tigers will get it. So Brian Fobbs hits a couple of threes to start the game, and since then the Tigers are one of six, and now something on the floor, and they stop play. Schweitz comes out. Keandre Kennedy, a 6'6 sophomore out of Atlanta, Georgia, checks in. As Fobbs gives it off to Gibson, will bring it over midcourt. Gibson passes top right to Fobbs, up top to Gray. Gray gets it to Beatran on the left. Beatran looking inside. Now will dribble out near the midcourt circle. Eight on the shot clock, starts forward. Dribbles to his left, cuts back to his right, into the lane, and a foul going to be called on Spasoyevich. That's his first and the uh, first team foul on UMBC. Thompson out, Fobbs out, Sanders and Tunstall back in. So Towson has four team fouls, UMBC with just one. Beatran gets it to Gibson out near the midcourt circle. Pass on the right wing to Gray. Gray looking inside. Can't find anyone up top to Beatran. Seven on the shot clock. Allen going to drive right side of the lane. Drives, lays it up and in. Beatran with his first points of the ball game. And the Tigers take a 10-8 lead with 13.53 remaining here in the first half. Left side. Jackson feeds it down low. Little hook shot by Spasoyevich. And we are tied at 10 as he gets his first two. Gibson bringing it up over midcourt. Tigers again moving right to left here in this first half. Gets it to Gray on the wing, up top to Tunstall. Tunstall left side to Beatran. Beatran bounces it left of the lane to Gray, hand it back to Beatran. Beatran spins, fades from five, rolls around, won't go. Rebound grabbed by Sanders, goes up, banks it home, and he's fouled. And that foul going to be called on Spasoyevich. That's his second. He stays in. Curran comes out. And Aiken back in. Also in for the Retrievers. Brandon Horvat, the 6'10 junior from West River, Maryland. So Nakai Sanders at the foul line. 22 of 35 on the season. as he's going to try to extend the Tiger lead to three. Their biggest has been six. Missed it. Rebound grabbed by Horvath, who gives it off to L.J. Owens. Owens brings it over midcourt. Feeds up top as he gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy on the right wing to Horvath. Back to Kennedy, and he traveled with a basketball. I believe that's the fourth turnover on UMBC. So the Tigers up 12 to 10 with 13.01 remaining here in this first half. Gibson has it over midcourt. Passes on the right side to Beatran. Beatran up top to Tunstall. Tunstall gets to Sanders, left of the lane. Sanders spins and a charge going to be called on the Kai. That'll be his first in the fifth team foul on the Tigers. So the Tigers in danger of going into the, uh, getting UMBC into the bonus pretty early here in this half. LJ Owens brings it over midcourt. Pass on the left wing as they get it to Jackson. Jackson going to drive, lays it up, missed it. Ball hung on the rim and fell out. Tons to the rebound. Long pass down the floor to Sanders. Spins, goes up. Basket's no good, but he's fouled. He will go to the free throw line to shoot two. That is on Horvath, his first, third on UMBC. Dotton getting set to check in for the Tigers. 
as Nakai Sanders goes back to the foul line. He is 0 for 1 from there so far this evening. Only Brian Fobbs has been to the line more than Nakai this season. As the senior hits the first, Gibson out, Dotton in. Tigers up 13 to 10 with 12.28 remaining here in this first half. Sanders getting set for the second free throw. No good. Rebound grabbed by Horvath. Horvath gives it off to Jackson, who will give it to Owens, who will bring it over midcourt. Owens gets it top right to Horvath. Horvath gives it off to Jackson. He's going to drive, puts it high off the glass. No good. Rebound Sanders. Sanders hands it off to Beatram. Beatram brings it over midcourt. Allen hands it off to Dotton on the right wing. Back up top to Sanders. Sanders left side to Gray. Gray will launch a three-point shot. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound is grabbed by Aiken. Aiken quickly to Jackson. Feeds right side to Kennedy. Kennedy back out to Jackson. Top of the key. Owens with an NBA three, and he nails it. We're tied at 13 with 11.43 remaining in the half. Dotton will bring it up the floor. Pass on the right wing to Gray. UMBC has not led yet tonight. Beatran, right of the foul line, puts up a jumper. No, rebound Horvath. Horvath gives it off to Jackson. Jackson, right side Kennedy. Kennedy feeds back to Jackson, drives down the paint. Flips it back out to Horvath. Horvath drives. He'll bank it up. No good. Rebound is grabbed by no one. Finally, Gray picks it up. Gets it off to Beatran, who brings it over midcourt. Down the left side, 11.05 remaining in the half. 13 all. Right wing to Dotton. Chakai motioning. Now feeds to Beatran. Flips it backwards to Sanders. Sanders left of the lane. Gets double team, flips it up top to Dotton, fakes the three, drives, goes up, baskets no good. And a foul going to be called on UMBC. And we've got a timeout. 10.46 remaining in this first half, our score. Towson 13, UMBC 13. From Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. Napa, no. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. The Call. Play new Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to 100000 This is Tiger Hoops on the Towson Sports Network. Brought to you by Red Star Sports Medicine. The official sports medicine provider for Towson Athletics. Here's Bill Marinkus. Now you can order a sub directly from your sofa. Subway now delivers your favorite sub, salad, or signature wrap straight to your door. Go to subway.com slash delivers to order with Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash or Postmates. Tigers and UMBC tied up at 13. Jakai Dotton will be at the foul line as play continues. This has not been a happy place for Jakai. He's just three of eight this year from the free throw line. Tigers are just one of three so far. All of them by uh, Nakai Sanders and Dotton hits the first. Tigers Continuing to shoot poorly. They shot 24.5% against Vermont. 
on Saturday night, just 38.5% to start this game. UMBC 44.4%. Dotton misses the second, so the Tigers are now 2 of 5 from the foul line. They lead 14 to 13. 10.40 to go here in the half. Over midcourt, Owens passes to his right to Horvath, into the corner to Kennedy. Kennedy swings it out, out on the floor for the first time. Ricky Council, a senior from Durham, North Carolina. Feed to Aiken, left of the lane, backing in on the freshman Thompson. Scoop move is good. As he schooled the freshman there, did Daniel Aiken, the junior from England. And UMBC has their first lead of the game, 15 to 14. Dot in left corner to Timberlake. Timberlake back up top to Dotton, swinging around right side to Fobbs. And a whistle and an illegal screen going to be called on Dennis Tunstall. And that's the sixth team foul on the Tigers. And we're still five seconds shy of getting to the midway point of this first half. Ryan Odom, head coach of UMBC, of course led them to the biggest upset in the history of the NCAA tournament two years ago when they beat Virginia as a number 16 seed. Owens, top of the key, feeds left of the lane to Aiken. Aiken backing in on Thompson, banks it up and scores. Aiken with six points for UMBC, and they lead 17 to 14 with 9.35 to go in the half. Actually, four points for Aiken. Dotton has it top of the key, drives left side of the lane, spins. Hands it off to Thompson, who comes down. He'll put it up, and he'll score. 17-16, Thompson with his first points of the night. The other way comes Owens. Feed in the left corner as they work at the Council. Council, swing it right side to Kennedy, into the corner to Horvath. Horvath up top to Owens. Owens double team, back up top to Horvath. Horvath going to launch a three-point shot, and that's an air ball that goes out of bounds. Air balls always get the home crowd excited for some reason. Tunstall and Thompson out. Sanders and Fobbs back in. So the Tigers with Dotton, Timberlake, Sanders, Gray, and Fobbs on the floor. Dotton brings it over midcourt. Feet on the left wing to Fobbs. Fobbs being covered by Kennedy. Working to Dotton. Dotton drives and he charges right in to Jackson. That'll be the first on Jakai, 17th foul on the Tigers. He'll sit down and Jason Gibson back in. 17 16 UMBC with 8.42 remaining here in this first half. Jackson brings it up over midcourt. Cuts back, passes to his left to Curran, who's back in the game. He gives it out to Council, up top to Kennedy. Kennedy dribbles left, being chased by Gray, back to his right to Jackson. Jackson feeds it down low to Horvath, who lost it, and Fobbs comes away with it. Bryan feeds left side to Gibson, back up top Fobbs to Gray, wide open for three. He's got to make those. He didn't, and a foul underneath on UMBC. Jawan Gray is now 0 of 3 from three-point range tonight. Came in at 47.6%. Spasoyevich will check in, and Curran will sit down. Five team fouls on UMBC. Tigers are over the limit at seven. Gibson gets it in to Fobbs, left of the lane. Bryan going to put up a seven-foot jumper, no good. Tap by Timberlake is high off the glass, and the rebound comes down to Jackson. He tries to give it off to Spasoyevich, oh, and he lost it the other the way the Tigers. Fobbs drives and lays it in. 18-17 Tigers with 7.49 remaining in the first half. Keandre Kennedy gets it over midcourt. Pass on the left wing to Jackson. Jackson feeds on the right side. Kennedy for a three, and he hit it. Keandre Kennedy with his ninth three-pointer of the year, and UMBC by two, 20 to 18. 
Up top, Timberlake. Pass on the left wing to Gibson. Gibson, as you can hear Pat Scary screaming, comes down the left side, feed it up top to Gray. Right side, Timberlake for a three. Timberlake in and out, no good. And Horvath with the rebound. He gives it off to Jackson. Jackson brings it over midcourt. Pass on the left wing to Kennedy. Kennedy to the foul line. Back out to Spasoyevich. And they swing it back around left side to Kennedy. 12 on the shot clock. Alley-oop down low. And a layup is good. Horvath got the pass from Spasoyevich. And he laid it home, and UMBC with their biggest lead, 22 to 18. 6.30 to go in the half. Fobbs. Backing up, starts to the top of the key. Wide open, looking for his third three, and he's got it. 22-21, Tigers down one. Brian Fobbs with 11 points. Left corner, there's a drive by Council. Gives it off to Horvath in the lane. Over Gray, puts it up no good. Rebound Gray. Gives it to Fobbs. Fobbs over midcourt. Long pass down the floor, and it's knocked out of bounds. And we've got a timeout. 5.55 remaining in this first half. Our score, UMBC 22, Towson 21. From Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Heed the call. Play new Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to $100,000 instantly. You're listening to Tiger Hoops on the Towson Sports Network. Back to the action with the voice of the Tigers, Spiro Marikis. UMBC leading the Tigers 22-21 with 5.55 remaining here in this first half. Brian Fobbs leading the Tigers with 11 points. He's 4 of 5 from the field, 3 of 3 from three-point range. UMBC being led by L.J. Owens, who has seven. Rebounds, nine to eight in favor of UMBC. Turnovers, six by the Retrievers, just three by the Tigers. Towson has the ball, 26 left on the shot clock. Get it into Gray. Gray going to drive into the paint, and he traveled with the basketball. So now the Retrievers will try to add to their one-point lead. Over midcourt. Owens gets it up top. Feed on the left side to Schweitz. Schweitz to Curran. Curran bounces it to Spasoyevich. Into the corner, a three by Kennedy, and he hits another one. That's his second. So Kennedy, who came into this game 8 of 32 from three-point range, tonight he is 2 of 2, 25-21 retrievers, 5.13 to go in the half. Fobbs dribbles to his right, passes back up top to Gray, left corner Timberlake, fakes the three, dribbles in, 15-foot jumper, off the back of the rim, no good, and the rebound is grabbed by Owens. Owens brings it over midcourt. 
He passes back to his left to Curran. On the wing to Schweitz. Schweitz drives. He banks it up. No, and a blocking foul called on Gibson. So Schweitz will go to the free throw line. He's only been six times this year. He's made four. 6'5", sophomore out of Frisco, Texas. Eight team fouls on the Tigers. Gibson has two. Timberlake has two. Pat Scary in a heavy discussion here on the sideline with one of the officials is Schweitz hits the first free throw. 26-21 retrievers. That matches their biggest lead of the game. Tigers led by six, six to nothing. Sanders will check in for the Tigers. Dennis Tunstall will sit down. As Schweitz gets ready for his next free throw. UMBC is a perfect five of five from the foul line. Tigers are two of five. And now they're six of six. 27-21. Retrievers with 4.48 to go in the half. Dotton brings it over midcourt. Gets it to Gray. Gray turns back up top to Dotton. Feed on the right wing as they get it to Beatran. Swing it around. Left wing to Fobbs. Fobbs back up top to Dotton. Eight on the shot clock. Beatran double team. Flips it right side to Sanders. Tries to drive the baseline. And a blocking foul is called on Curran. And that'll be his first. Sixth team foul on the Retrievers, so the Tigers will be in the bonus the rest of the half. They trailed 26 to 16 against Vermont at halftime the other night. Inbounds pass to Gray. Gray puts it up. No. Ball out of bounds. And it will remain Towson ball with 17 on the shot clock. Tunstall checks in. Gray sits down. So now Dotton looking, looking, gets it into Sanders. Sanders spins, and a blocking foul called on the Retrievers. That's on Schweitz. That'll be his first. And Sanders will go to the free throw line as the Tigers are in the bonus. 4-16 remaining here in the first half. Towson trailing 27-21. Tigers have only scored one point in the last four minutes. Sanders hits the front end, 27-22. Nakai with four points so far this evening. Next one on the way is also good, 27-23. 4.16 to go in the half as Owens will bring it up the floor. Owens met at the midcourt circle by Dotton. Feed on the right wing to Kennedy, covered by Beatran. Feed up top to Aiken, hands it off to Owens. Owens looking for a cutter, can't find anybody. Finally over to Schweitz, right side, drives on Fobbs. Down the right side of the lane, back up top to Kennedy. Kennedy back to the right to Owens. Three on the shot clock. Puts up a jumper and he hits it from 18 feet. 29-23. Owens with nine points. Dotton feeds to Tunstall just to the right of the top of the key. Three and a half minutes to go in the half. Tigers down six to Beatran left side. Bounces it left of the lane to Sanders. Sanders. Flips it right side to Fobbs, dribbles in, 12-foot jumper off the front of the rim, no. Rebound knocked around, Sanders gets it out to Dotton. Dotton to Fobbs on the right side. Fobbs going to drive to the foul line. His jump shot is no good, and the rebound knocked around, and UMBC's Aikens comes away with it. He gives it off to Kennedy. Three minutes to go in the half. Tigers down, 29-23. Owens dribbles to his left. 
feeds in the left corner to Schweitz. Bounces it left of the lane to Aiken. Aiken dribbles in, dribbles in, turns. Little right-handed hook shot is good. 31 to 23. The Tigers down eight. Retrievers with their biggest lead of the half with 2.34 to go. Dotton passes on the right side as he gets it to Fobbs. Fobbs up top to Tunstall. Left side to Beatran. Beatran back up top to Dotton. Back on the right side to Fobbs. 10 on the shot clock. Fobbs left side to Dotton. Gets it to Sanders. 12 foot jump shot is good by Nakai. 31 25. Tigers down six. 2.05 to go in the half. Owens brings it over midcourt. Tigers go into a 3 2 zone as Schweitz has it out near the midcourt circle. We still haven't gotten the under four media timeout yet. We're down to a minute 50 to go in the half. There's a feed underneath, and Aiken goes up for a shot, blocked out of bounds, and there's your dead ball timeout. 145 remaining in the first half. Our score Towson 31, UMBC, or excuse me, UMBC 31. Towson 25 from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. Towson Athletics. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Heed the call. Play new Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to $100,000 instantly. This is Tiger Hoops on the Towson Sports Network. Brought to you by Under Armour, the official outfitter for Towson Athletics. Here's Bill Marikas. When Revere Bank is your business bank, you are Revere. Want your bank to be as committed to your success as you are? Talk to Revere Bank right here in Towson on Washington Avenue or visit reverebank.com. Tigers are trailing UMBC 31 to 25. Minute 45 remaining here in the first half. Towson just 9 of 24 from the field. UMBC 11 of 19. Aiken gets the inbounds pass left of the lane, takes it down to the baseline, spins, turns, puts it up off the back of the rim, rolls around and goes. 33 25 retrievers. Their biggest lead has been 9. Tigers' biggest lead was six. Over midcourt, Dotton. Feeds on the left side to Beatran. Beatran gets it out to Fobbs. Fobbs double team back to Dotton into the right corner. Tunstall for three. Good. Dennis Tunstall. His fourth three point basket of the season. And the Tigers are down five, 33 28, with a minute five remaining here in the first half. Jackson over midcourt, dribbles to his right. Tigers staying at 3-2 zone. Owens between the circles, feeds right side to Kennedy for a three. That one's too strong, rebound Tunstall. For Dennis, that's his third. Gives it off to Fobbs, Fobbs right side to Dotton, Dotton flips it left side to Beatran. 15 seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And Pat Scary calls his use it or lose it timeout with 32.4 seconds remaining in the half. Tigers down 33-28. Brian Fobbs leading the way for Towson with 11. 
Owens leading the way for UMBC with nine. Retrievers are a perfect six of six from the foul line. Tigers are three of five. UMBC out rebounding Towson, 11 to 10. Turnovers. Tigers have been very good, only four. UMBC not bad either with six. Dotton with two assists to lead Towson. So 32.4 seconds remaining in the half. Tigers have 17 on the shot clock. As Beatram will put it into play. Beatran gets it up top to Tunstall. Over to Fobbs. Fobbs, top of the key, swinging around right side to Dotton. Five on the shot clock. Dotton back up top. Fobbs for a three-point shot off the front of the rim. No good. Gets his own rebound. Bryan comes down the right side, pulls out. 12 seconds left in the half. Out to Dotton at the midcourt circle. Dribbles to his right. Hands it off to Beatran. Back up top to Fobbs. Five on the game clock. Fobbs falls down, gets back up. Left side, Dotton for a three at the buzzer. Good. So the Tigers get the basket to cut it to within two. 33. They're going to say it's a two, but they're going to look at it. So we'll find out. So at halftime, it's either 33 to 30 or 33 to 31. I'm not sure. We'll find out when we come back. When we come back, we'll be talking with Glenn Clark of Glenn Clark Radio. He's here for a special reason tonight, something you can all help him out with. We will return at the half. It is Towson trailing UMBC either 33 to 30 or 33 to 31. From Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. Whether it's on the court or in the classroom, Towson student athletes work hard to represent the black and gold. Show your support by donating to the Tiger Athletic Fund, which helps provide resources both on and off the field for all Towson student athletes. And along with supporting the Tigers, you can earn benefits to enhance your Towson athletics experience. For more information or to donate, visit towson.edu slash giving or call 1-877-9-TOWSON. The Tiger Athletic Fund, building greatness in Towson athletics. Tune into Wise Wednesdays with Vinny and Bob on 1057 The Fan for the recipe of the week. You can win a Wise gift card for your tailgate party. Wise is the official tailgate party headquarters for Baltimore Game Day. Eat better, spend less. That's Wise. Tis the season for your chance to win a holiday bundle of cheer that includes Chick fil A merchandise and gift cards. Go to 1057TheFan.com's contest page to enter. Celebrate the season with Chick fil A. Booth's Chris Steakhouse has a special offer for the holidays. Now through December 31st, purchase a gift card worth $250 or more and receive a 10% bonus. Go to SiriusSteaks.com for more info. It's football season. That means grilling at the tailgate with family and friends. And nobody knows grilling like Beats and Watson. They've been making premium meats and artisan cheeses for over 80 years. And when it comes to partying in the parking lot, Safeway has all the tailgating essentials to take your party to the next level. Beats and Watson. It's a family thing. When it comes to retirement, how can you take advice from someone who doesn't understand the big picture? If they don't know what the tax implications are of taking money out of an IRA, math conversions, or how your money is going to pass to the next generation, how can they be qualified to give you sound advice for your future? Mike Kennett and Ryan Herbert of Pro Status Financial Advisors Group are qualified. They're both financial and tax planners. In addition, Mike is an estate planning attorney. They can handle all areas of your finances in the most tax-efficient manner legally possible. If you're serious about retirement and save $250,000 or more, call for a one-hour complimentary retirement consultation to see how they can help you. 866-597-1040. That's 866-597-1040. And online at ProStatusFinancial.com. Advisory services offered through ProStatus Group LLC. A registered investment advisor. Insurance license to New Orleans. This is the Pepsi Halftime Report. Get ready for 21 minutes of Tiger Hoops with the voice of the Tigers, Spiro Malikas. We are at halftime with the Tigers trail UMBC 33 to 30. Joining me now here at halftime, Glenn Clark from glennclarkradio.com. 
Thank you, sir, for being with us. Sarah, it's so good to be here. I really appreciate you having us down here and bringing attention to what we're doing. We don't do a lot of good, but every now and then we try to mix it up and prove that we're not just completely bad guys. So, Well, today you were collecting for the Helping Up mission. Tell us, first of all, what the Helping Up mission is. So I appreciate you asking. Uh, Spira, uh, 11 years ago um, when we were in your old um, uh, t drive time spot on another radio station, yeah. uh, my partner Drew and I, we decided that we wanted to try to do something, and we had no plan whatsoever. We just wanted to raise some coats, and we had a listener, Tony from Rosedale, called in and said, I want to hook you up with a place called the Helping Up Mission. And we went one time. It's right downtown, right up Baltimore Street. And it's the most special place you'll ever see. These are broken men. These are men that have nothing, that have completely given their, their, their last chance to getting together to this place, the Helping Up Mission. It's one of the most highly successful. Um, I, I don't even know if you, you call it a rehabilitation center as much as it's just a complete spiritual program to lift people out of wherever they are. And so they have one of the highest success rates in the entire East Coast. And they need everything. I mean, they need everything. So we've been collecting coats, jackets, gloves, hats. Specifically, we do winter apparel this time of year. Um, we raised another couple hundred tonight here at the game. Coach Scary came out with us to an event we did last week. We raised uh, 500 or so there. So we're going to have a few thousand pieces that we're going to be able to bring out. Now, you have one mission. more coming up, I believe. Yeah, Monday night we will be at uh, Chick-fil-A Nottingham Square. Uh, right off, not the one in White Marsh Mall, but just off of uh, Campbell Boulevard there in White Marsh. Bradley Bozeman from the Baltimore Ravens is going to come out and join us, which is really nice of him. He's taking his time so people can come out and meet him. We just ask that you bring coats, uh, lightly used coats, jackets, gloves, anything that can help keep folks warm. We need it. I mean, I, if you have a question of whether or not we need it, the answer is we need it. They right. need everything they can possibly get at the Helping Up Mission. And for men, women, and children, it's a men's shelter, but they have you know, the, most, the most touching moment I've ever experienced is one year somebody brought a child's coat, and I had a gentleman there who picked up that child's coat and said to me, uh, Glenn, now I'm going to have something to give my daughter for Christmas wow. this year. And wow. it, it moved me. You don't me. think I about still, that. You don't exactly, think about that Sparrow, part of it. I, it. It really affected me in a way that even when I talk to you about it, I still get a little emotional thinking about now, that moment. If people want to help out the Helping Up mission, yep. besides giving coats at the Chick-fil-A next week, how can they do that? Helpingup.org is the website for them to find out more about, and they absolutely can take monetary donations, or they need volunteers. I went down just a couple Sundays ago at uh, you know 6 a.m. on a Sunday to help serve breakfast. They need that stuff all the time. Right. They run the facility themselves. They need volunteers. They need people to come help out. So money's great. Coats are great. But just taking a couple hours and saying, hey, we want to go support some people that are trying to turn their life around and go help them serve breakfast, go help them throughout the course of the day, that would mean the world. So helpingup.org is the website to find out more. It's an incredible, incredible place when you get down there to see it. Yeah, and this time of the year is when they need it the most. I mean, we're supposed to get snow tonight. You know? Right, that's, correct. That's and you think about everybody that, you know, look, we all know this is a city in which, unfortunately, we are dealing with a lot of stuff, and there are going to be a a lot of people they're gonna be struggling to survive these nights uh, this winter and so we're trying to get them off the streets and we're trying to help them once they get off the streets to stay off of the streets and so that's what helping up mission is all about that's what makes them special they get them plugged in with jobs they get them plugged in with lifting each other up and building a community um, I, I really can't describe until you go see what this place is all about just how different it is from your average rehabil rehabilitation center Glenn, we appreciate you stopping by and uh, great work that you're doing. Spiro, it means the world. I still owe you lunch, and you're going to come over yeah. and hang out. I need you to come over and hang out on my show for a little bit, all right? Glenn Clark Radio. GlennClarkRadio.com, 10 to noon every day. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Spiro. All righty. <laughs> we are at halftime. The Tigers are trailing UMBC 33-30. to We'll come back with the first half stats from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. <laughs>
subway.com slash delivers. Open your door to your delivery order. Open your mouth to a tasty foot long from Subway. Alright. Delivery available in selected areas. See subway.com slash delivers for details. Wesley is a truck driver. I drive a truck. I love what I do. A truck driver with IRS troubles. They told me I owed them $43,000. It got really bad. He sent quite a few letters in the mail. They were talking uh, about wage charging, man. Coming after my house, my car. Yeah, they, they don't play around. I seriously thought that I was going to lose everything. One sleepless night, Wesley finally made a call to Optima Tax Relief at 2 a.m. I kind of figured I'd get a machine, but I didn't. I actually got to talk to an actual person in the middle of the night. He found just what he was looking for. Oh, they were great people. And a team of people that know what they're doing. Optima Tax, they know what they're doing. Optima Tax Relief came through with flying colors. I saved an incredible amount of money. Happy that they come close. I was absolutely overjoyed. Take Wesley's advice. So if you're in any kind of trouble with the IRS, call Optima Tax Relief. Don't trust anybody else. Call Optima for a free consultation. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. CBS Sports Radio 1300 is WJZ AM Baltimore. WJZ HD3 Catonsville Baltimore. Online at Radio.com. <laughs> This is the Pepsi Halftime Report. Get ready for 21 minutes of Tiger Hoops with the voice of the Tigers, Spiro Malakis. Tigers trailing UMBC 33-30 here at halftime. First half stats for UMBC. They shoot 57.1% for the first half. 3 of 5 from three-point range, 12 of 21 overall. 6 of 6 from the free throw line. They were led by Daniel Aiken with 10 points. On 5 of 6 from the field, L.J. Owen with 9, 3 of 3 from the field, including a 3-pointer. Keandre Kennedy has 6 points. And then Max Curran, Jake Schweitz, and Brandon Horvath, each with 2. K.J. Jackson, who came in as the leading scorer, has not scored this evening. He is uh, 0 for 2 from the field. Their leading rebounder is Horvath. He has 5 so the Retrievers getting it from Daniel Aiken, who came in averaging 6.8 points a game, but he's got 10 here in the first half. For the Tigers in the first half, they were led by Brian Fobbs with 11. Brian, 4 of 8 from the field, 3 of 4 from three-point range. 7 for Nakai Sanders, 5 for Dennis Tunstall, 3 for Dotton, 2 each for Beatran and Thompson. Tigers leading rebounder is also Sanders. He has four, three for Tunstall. Dotton and Fobbs each with two assists in the first half. The Tigers as a team shoot 40.7% at the in the uh, first 20 minutes, 40% from three-point range, and 57.1% from the foul line. So they got better as the half wound down, did the Tigers, but it was rough shooting for most of the first half. The Tigers spent it in the mid to low 30s, shooting percentage-wise. So Towson trailing 33-30 to 30 here at halftime. We will come back with the second half of play. Again, Tigers down three after 20 from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. The Green Table has been your local sports bar and grill since 1976. Serving burgers, wings, and Maryland's fried crab dishes. Alongside local crab beer. And they're proud to be a long-standing partner of Towson Athletics. Bring the whole team and celebrate with their red tape party rooms and patios. Relax and enjoy a Maryland tradition. Their signature crunches. Served with fresh squeezed food juices. But don't forget to download the new Green Table app to start any rewards each time you visit. Visit thegreentable.com to find a location near you. With more than 25 Green Table restaurants in Maryland, we invite you to eat plenty, drink well, leave happy. Towson Athletics trusts MedStar Health, and you can too. So whether you're out hustling the opposing team or hustling the class, whether you're defending Tiger Turtle or deflecting a cold, whether you're playing the game of your life or just living your best life, you deserve the same top-notch care we give Towson Athletics and a healthcare partner that understands that inside every human body lives a human being. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. More than ever, we need to laugh. Look in the Radio.com app brings the funny. It's in the end of the night zone. On Radio.com.
Radio.com. You can listen to your favorite hometown morning show wherever you are. Or non-stop stand-up on the Comedy Now channel. And hilarious podcasts like Curious with John Penn or Idiot with Chris Hardwick. All available 24-7 and all just a click away. So come on, lighten up and laugh a little. Or a lot. Radio.com. On your desktop or download the free app now. Finny and Joey come from very different places, but they both love wine. Finny is a sommelier. Hey, how's it going? And Joey is a grape farmer. Hey, good. How's it going you? So we sent them on a trip to the vineyards in the mountains in Virginia to see if two strangers can bond over something they both love. So will it work? You decide. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, my man. There's nothing that brings people together quite like enjoying wine and great food. Discover nearly 300 wineries at virginia.org. Eat and drink what you love in Virginia. Virginia is your lovers. Finished by Virginia Tourism Corporation. This has been the Pepsi Halftime Report. 20 minutes in the books. 20 more minutes of Tiger Hoops are coming your way now on the Towson Sports Network. Let's get back to the court with Spiro Malinkis. Tigers trailing here at halftime, 33-30, to 30, as we get set for the final 20 minutes of this ball game. Tigers here at home are 2-1. Beat GW here to start the season back on November 5th, and then three nights later beat Division Three Bryn Atherin. And their only loss on November the 11th when they lost in overtime to Kent State, 84-80. So the Tigers, even though they played nine games, this is their 10th and only their fourth here at home. And then uh, after tonight, all for 10 days, the Tigers are back in action next Friday at the Entertainment and Sports Arena in Washington, D.C., where they will take on Liberty in the first round of the tournament down there. And then on Saturday, the Tigers will play either Tulane or Akron. Tigers here in the second half will move left to right. Towson in their home white uniforms with black numerals, black and gold trim. While UMBC in their home blacks with gold numerals and gold trim. Not a bad crowd here tonight at CQ for this ball game between Towson and UMBC. Towson came out. Brian Fobbs hit back-to-back -back threes to start the game to give the Tigers a six-point lead. Hey, <laughs> How you, man? Damon Kaysan, former Tiger great, coming over to say hello. Well, the... Uh, Great Tigers of the mid-90s, Damon Kaysan, stopping by to say hello. Always good to see the former Tigers. Said his daughter was out here doing jump rope with all the jump ropers at halftime. Ja'Kai Dotton gets it into Fobbs. Fobbs gives it back to Ja'Kai as the Tigers will try to get on the board first here in the second half. Tunstall passes on the left wing to Beatran. Beatran back up top to Dutton. Back over to Beatran. Work it down low. Underneath, reverse layup by Sanders. Rolls around the rim, and it's good. Nakai Sanders with the bucket. And he's got nine. Tigers down one, 33-32. Curran gives it over on the left wing to Owens. Owens to Jackson just outside the foul line. Swinging around into the right corner to Curran. Back up top to Jackson. Jackson going to drive on Tunstall. Feed out to the left to Owens. Up top, Schweitz down back to Owens for a three-point shot off the front of the rim. No good. Bob's the rebound. Brian wants to run. Brings it over midcourt. Now holds up. Passes it to Tunstall. Tunstall on the left wing to Dotton. Dotton works it back out top to Fobbs. Fobbs left side. Gets it to Sanders. Going to drive. Flip it to Tunstall. Reverse layup. No, but a foul. That's going to be on Aiken. That'll be his first and the first team, or his second and the first on UMBC. So Dennis Tunstall to the foul line to shoot two. 
Dennis on the season, 8 of 11 from the free throw line. He's got five points tonight, and he averages five per ball game. Senior from Willingboro, New Jersey. First free throw on the way, and off the rim, off the backboard, and through. The Tigers have tied it up at 33. Dennis gets set for the next one. On the way. Perfect. Tigers on top, 34-33. So they start the first half on a 6-0 run. Now they start the second half early on with a 4-0 run. Over midcourt, Jackson dotting all over him. Feed it right wing to Owens. Back up top to Curran. Curran gives it to Schweitz. Schweitz back over to Owens. Tries to feed it to Curran down low. Curran can't handle the pass. Out of bounds and over to the Tigers. So Ja'Kai Dotton will get it into Fobbs. Bobs gives it back to Dotton. And he'll bring it over midcourt. Pass on the right side to Fobbs. Fobbs up top, Tunstall, left side, get it to Beatran. Beatran to Dotton. Left wing, back to Beatran. Allen gets it to Sanders, left side of the lane, and Aiken with a foul. That's his third. And Ryan Odom going to have to make a decision on what he's going to do there. And what he's going to do is take him out of the game and bring in Spasajevich. So Dotton will put it into play with a 20 second shot clock. Get it in, jump shot, Fobbs too strong. Tunstall taps the rebound to himself and Dennis will send it up the right side to Dotton. Back up top to Beatran. Allen gets a screen from Tunstall. Feeds back to his left to Fobbs. Five on the shot clock. Bryant going to drive to the foul line. Jump shot off the rim. Rolls around. Won't go. Rebound Tunstall. Tigers get another chance down low. Sanders lays it in as he got behind Spasajevich. 36-33 Tigers. They open up on a 6-0 run again. And a timeout by Ryan Odom. <laughs> so the Tigers jump out to a three-point lead. They trailed by as many as eight in the first half. But here in the second half, they have kind of taken control to start things off. Delta Baltimore North is the new preferred hotel to Towson Athletics, located just 4.6 miles from the Towson campus. Be sure to make reservations for family weekend. Special rates are available. Just ask for Towson University's rate. Same discounted rate year-round. Towson leading here 36 to 33 as uh, the Tigers trying to get back on the winning track. They had won two in a row against St. Joe's and Morgan before losing to Vermont. While UMBC would like to snap a two-game losing streak. As a matter of fact, they've lost five of their last six. The only win during that six-game stretch was against CAA foe Drexel. Besides the Tigers and UMBC tonight, the only other CAA game going on is up in Hempstead, New York, where Hofstra is leading Stony Brook, 38-34. to By the way, number one, Louisville is losing to Texas Tech at the half, 31 to 28. And uh, the number four ranked Terrapins of Maryland are trailing Penn State, 49 to 39. Penn, uh, UMBC continuing to shoot very well, 57.1%. They're 12 of 21. Tigers are just 11 of 27. Towson 4 of 10 from three-point range. UMBC 3 of 5. So the Tigers up 36-33. Retrievers have 25 on the shot clock. They get it into Jackson. Jackson works it over on the right wing to Schweitz. Schweitz up top to Curran, covered by Tunstall. Feed back to Jackson. Jackson to Owens. He had it knocked away, but it went right back to Jackson. Seven on the shot clock. Jackson feeds it to Spasajovic. He puts it up, rolls around, and it goes. 
So 36-35, Tigers by one with 17-15 to go. Dotton up top to Tunstall, feed on the right wing to Fobbs. Fobbs up top to Beatran, he'll launch a three, in and out, no good. Rebound retrievers, here comes Jackson over midcourt, dribbles to his left. Back up top to Kern, Kern gonna drive the lane, puts it up, blocked by Sanders. The other way, here come the Tigers, Beatran, Beatran, feed over to Dotton, Dotton in the paint, flips it down low to Sanders, and a charge gonna be called on the Kai as he stuck that elbow out. That'll be the second on the Kai. So Tunstall sits down and Jawan Gray in. Towson leading by one, 36-35 with 16-44 to go. Over midcourt comes K.J. Jackson. Jackson feeds it. Spasajevich down low and a whistle and a foul on the Tigers. That's going to be on Beatran. That'll be his first second team foul on the Tigers. And now the officials are telling everybody to Let's get together and all get along. A little pushing and shoving maybe. So KJ Jackson feeds it out top to Schweitz. Feed on the left wing to Owens. Back up top, Schweitz gonna fire a three point shot. No good, rebound Dotton. Dotton brings it up the floor. Dotton dribbles to the right. Stops the dribble just inside the three-point line. Back up top to Sanders. Sanders takes it down the lane. Goes up. No, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That's on Spasajevich. That's his third. As Nakai Sanders will go to the free throw line where he is three of five tonight. Nakai with 11 points. He and Fobbs each with 11 to lead the Tigers. First one by Sanders is good. Tigers up 37-35. Gibson in, Dotton out. Kennedy in, Horvath in. Schweitz and Curran sit down. So now Sanders looking for point number 13 on the evening. And trying to give the Tigers a three-point lead. He does. 38-35, 16.08 to go. Jackson brings it up over midcourt. Pass on the right wing as he gets it to Kennedy. Kennedy bounces up top to Spasojevich. Left to Jackson, drives the baseline, comes in, reverse layup, up in the air. No, gets his own rebound. The Horvath lays it up and in. 38-37, so Jackson, who came in as the leading scorer eligible to play tonight with 13 and a half points a game, and he hasn't scored yet, but he gets a nice offensive board off his own miss. The other way, Sanders lays it up, rolls around the rim, won't go. Thompson, the tap, well, Fobbs, the tap, no good. And then a whistle and a foul. And now a little pushing and shoving by Nakai Sanders, and he may have gotten lucky there that he didn't get called for a technical. We've got a timeout. 15-28 remaining in this ball game. It is Towson 38, UMBC 37 from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. <laughs> While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people.
people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Towson University Tigers are leading Heed UMBC 38-37. from the Maryland Lottery. 15, 28 up to remaining. Dollars instant. The officials were looking to see if Nakai Sanders did anything untoward, and he kind of pushed a retriever. So they're all huddled up now, talking, and they may issue something here. See the Tigers. are uh, up by one. And uh, Towson comes out with Gibson, Thompson, Gray, Fobbs, and Beatran. UMBC coming out with Jackson, Horvath, Kennedy, along with Aachen. There's a jump shot taken by Owens. No good. Rebound comes off to the Tigers. Fobbs brings it over midcourt up top to Gray. Gray feeds Gibson. Back on the right. Beatran for a three. Good. Allen Beatran with his first three of the night. He's got five. And the Tigers up four, 41-37 with 15 minutes to go. Tigers tonight, now five of 12 from three-point range. Jackson, top of the key for the Retrievers. Dribbles in, then pulls back out, throws it to the right corner to Kennedy. Kennedy takes it into the paint, puts up a floater and hits. Kennedy with eight points. The Tigers by two, 41-39, 14.30 to go. Tran has it on the left wing, up top to Fobbs. Bryan has not scored here in the second half. Had 11 in the first half. Allen going to launch another three off the back of the rim. No, Gray gets the rebound, flips it out to Gibson, top right. Gibson dribbles to his right, goes back to his right to Fobbs for three, and he hits. Brian Fobbs with his fourth three of the night, and the Tigers with back-to-back -back threes take a five-point lead. 44-39 with 13.58 to go. Jackson out at the midcourt circle to Aachen over on the left wing. Get it to Kennedy. Kennedy back up top to Horvath. Back on the left wing as they get it to Kennedy. Into the paint and a foul going to be called on Brian Fobbs. That's his second. Fourth team foul on the Tigers. Nick Timberlake in, Allen Beatran sits down. 44-39, Tigers by five with 13.41 to go. Inbounds pass, goes to Kennedy, he drives, puts it up, lays it in, 44-41. The sophomore is hurting the Tigers here tonight. Came in averaging just 6.3 points a game. He's got 10. Gibson down low. Flips it to Thompson for the slam dunk. Great penetration by the freshman, and he just handed it to his freshman brethren who slammed it home. 46-41 Tigers with 13-10 to go. Horvat down low to Aachen. Lays it up and in. He got behind Thompson for the easy layup there. Back to a three-point game. Gibson over midcourt, dribbles to his left. Tigers average just under 70 points a game. UMBC averages 71.1 per game. Gibson up top, drives to the left, comes down the left side of the lane, pulls out to Thompson, dumps it in the paint to Gray, lays it up and missed it. And 
Jawan smacks the floor in disgust with an easy shot he just missed. Horvath gets it up top to Jackson. Jackson on the left wing. Back up top. Tigers in a zone. Kennedy gets it to Aachen. Lays it up. He missed it. Rebound Timberlake. Timberlake to Gibson. Gibson over midcourt. Feed right corner to Fobbs. Back up top. Gibson for a long three. No good. Rebound Aachen. 46-43 Tigers with 12-10 to go. Towson trailed by three at halftime. Horvath dribbles around to the right, gives it off to Kennedy. Kennedy up top. Pass on the left wing as he gets it to Owens. Swinging around right side to Jackson. Five on the shot clock. Owens left to Kennedy. Turns, launches three and hits. Kennedy with his third three of the night. He had eight in ten games. He's got three tonight. We're tied at 46 with 11.38 remaining. Timberlake up top to Fobbs. Fobbs passes to Thompson. Thompson going to drive, and he crashes in to Aachen, and that's a foul on Thompson. We've got a timeout. 11-22 remaining in the ballgame. Our score, Towson 46, UMBC 46 from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. If you're one of the millions of Americans who owes... While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health. It's how we treat people. And they'll taste the air of envy. Bring a deli pattern. And they'll whisper your name. Heed the call. Play new Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to $100,000 instantly. On the Towson Sports Network, brought to you by Red Star Sports Medicine, the official sports medicine provider for Towson Athletics. Here's Spiro Marikas. It's time to live above the ordinary at Aspen Heights Towson. Come enjoy private bathrooms for each bedroom and unmatched amenities throughout our 13-story building. Visit AspenTowson.com for more information. That's AspenTowson.com. Calm. Tigers and UMBC tied up at 46. 11 22 remaining in this ball game. Fobbs with 14 points to lead the Tigers. Sanders has 13. Kennedy with 13. And Aachen with 12 to lead UMBC. Tigers out rebounding the Retrievers 20 to 16. UMBC with the ball, they move right to left. As Jackson has it out front, passes to his left to Owens, fakes the three, dribbles in, foul line jumper is good. Owens with 11, 48-46 UMBC. Their biggest lead tonight was eight, with 2.39 remaining in the first half. The Tigers' biggest lead was six to nothing. Fobbs hit threes to start the game on the Tigers' first two possessions. Down low, Sanders flips it up top to Gibson. Gibson. Covered by Jackson. Bounces it right in the lane to Sanders. And a blocking foul going to be called on Max Curran. That'll be his third. Or actually his second. UMBC with four team fouls. The Tigers with five. 
Inbounds to Tunstall. Jump shot from 17 is too strong. So UMBC with the ball and a two-point lead. Jackson drives down the lane, stops, turns, has it stripped, but it goes right to Spasajevic. Out to Kennedy, right corner, Curran for three, good. Max Curran with five points. That's just his second three of the year. He was one of 10 coming into tonight. Retrievers with a five point lead, 51-46, 10, 10 to go. Tunstall up top to Gibson. Gibson passes right side, Beatran for a three, no good. Rebound Curran. Gives it off to Jackson. Ryan Odom says, slow it down. Jackson feeds it down low to Spasajevic into the right corner to Owens. Owens drives and traveling called on Owens. Turnover number eight on the retrievers. Dotton and Fobbs back in. Gibson and Timberlake lead for the Tigers. So Dotton gets it into Fobbs. Dotton brings it over midcourt, met there by Jackson, dribbles to his left, passes back to Beatran between the circles. On the right wing, Fobbs turns from three, good! Brian Fobbs with his fifth three of the night, and the Tigers are down two, 51-49 with 9.28 to go. Jackson has it over midcourt, passes right side to Owens. Remember, this, these two teams played a double overtime game last year. In the right left corner, Curran for a three. Rolls around, won't go. Rebound, Tunstall is seventh to Fobbs over midcourt. Bryant going to drive. Bryant lays it up and in. 51 all with 9.05 to go. Jackson over midcourt. And the ball lost out of bounds. Bryant Fobbs with 19 points tonight. Tigers needed him to break out, and he has. Most he scored this season was 22 against Buffalo. Also had 20 against Kent State. And he's just one off tying a career high in three-point baskets made in the game, which he did last year at UMBC. Owens. Drives to the foul line, puts up a floater, no good, off to the right, and Sanders gets hacked as he goes up for the rebound. That'll be the fifth team foul on UMBC. That's on Curran, his third. Gray in, Beatran out. So the Tigers. Tied up at 51 with 8.45 to go. Last time the Tigers played here at CQ was an overtime game against Kent State. Last time they played UMBC was an overtime game last year. Are we headed that way again? Gray gets it up top to Dotton. Pass on the right side to Fobbs. Back to Dotton, fakes the three, dribbles in, and a whistle. And a foul gonna be called on Spasajevic. That's his fourth 16 foul on UMBC. They tell Ryan Odom that's his fourth foul, and he kind of weighs it off like, oh, well. Sanders gets the inbounds pass. Up top to Dotton. Dotton, left of the foul line, flips it out to Gray. Gray into the paint, puts up a floater off the back. No, foul and slam dunk by Dennis Tunstall. 53-51, Tigers by two with 8-10 to go, and that got the crowd excited. Schweitz up top, gets it to Spasijovic at the foul line, dishes it out left side to Owens, back to Spasijovic down low, puts up a shot, no, he wanted a foul, didn't get it. Here come the Tigers, Dotton takes it straight to the hoop, Dotton scoops it up and in. 55-51, and Ryan Odom wants a timeout. 7.48 remaining in the ball game. Our score, Towson 55, UMBC 51 from Van Wagner Sports. This is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network.
while science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health. It's how we treat people. Heed the call. Play new Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to $100,000 instantly. You're listening to Tiger Hoops on the Towson Sports Network. Back to the action with the voice of the Tigers, Spiro Marikas. Tigers leading UMBC by a score of 55-51 to 51 with 7.48 remaining in the ball game. Tigers for the game continuing not to shoot great, 43.5%. UMBC, 52.6%. Retrievers are 5 of 10 from three-point range. The Tigers, 7 of 17. UMBC, 6 of 6 from the foul line. The Tigers, 8 of 11. Tigers out rebounding. UMBC, 24 to 18. Turnovers, 8 for the Retrievers, 6 for the Tigers. Ryan Fobbs leading all scores tonight. He's got 19. Retrievers with the ball as Jackson brings it over midcourt. Feed left side to Kennedy who drives, steps back, puts it up and in. This kid is killing the Tigers tonight. He's got 15 to lead UMBC, and it's a two-point game. 55-53 with 7.28 to go. Dotton over midcourt being covered by Jackson. Passes on the right wing to Fobbs. Fobbs up top to Tunstall. Tunstall gets it left of the lane to Sanders. Had it, trouble controlling it, now gets it. Feeds it back out to Fobbs, seven on the shot clock. Bryan looking around. Now he'll launch an NBA three, and he rattles it home. Ties a career high with his sixth three-pointer. He's got 22, and the Tigers by five, 58-53 with 6.55 to go. Jackson has it on the left wing to Owens. Owens back to Kern in the left corner, back up top, Owens. Owens feeds back on the left to Kern. Tigers back in the zone, feed it into the right corner, wide open as Jackson for three, and that's his first points of the game. And we've got a whistle as Sanders is hobbling up the far sideline. It's 58-56, Towson by two. Brian Fobbs with 22 points. That matches his season high. Six three-pointers. That matches his career high, which, again, he had last year at UMBC. Sanders going to try to play through the paint here. 58-56 Tigers, 6.24 to go. And a whistle. And foul going to be called on Jackson his first, team's seventh, and I believe it's Fobbs who will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Brian on the year, 82.5% from the free throw line. This will be a one and one. Front end is good. 59-56, Tigers by three. Fobbs with a season high, 23. His career high was last year at UMBC when he had 32 points. Fobbs getting set, trying to make it a four-point game with 6.20 remaining. On the way, and good. 60-56, to 56, Tigers by four. Spasojevic back in with four fouls. Aachen sits down. Jackson will bring it up over midcourt. Pass on the left wing to Spasojevic. Back up top, get it to Curran. Curran left side to Owens. 
Owens between the circles to Jackson. Right wing, get it to Kennedy. Hand it off to Curran, back up top, Owens. Five on the shot clock. Owens spins into the paint, and he got pushed. No, a foul going to be called on UMBC. And that's on Kennedy. It's his first, the eighth team foul on UMBC. Spasayevich leaves. Aachen back in the game. Tigers by four with 5.50 to go. As Beatran has it between the circles, gives it to Fobbs. Tried to bounce it on the right side, but there was nobody there. I'm not sure who he's trying to get it to. And the Tigers turn it over for just the seventh time tonight. Jackson brings it up over midcourt. Jackson dribbles to his left. Jackson drives, turns, passes out to Kennedy. Flips it up top. Curran drives the lane, lays it up. Basket's good, and he's fouled. So Curran, with seven points, makes it a two-point game with 5.17 remaining. Gibson will check in. Dotton will sit down. So Curran to the free throw line where he is two of two tonight. 12 of 17 on the season. 1,811 here tonight to watch the Tigers take on UMBC as Curran gets it home. 60 to 59. 5.15 to go in the game. Tigers by one. Fobbs has it on the right wing, up top to Gray. Swing it left side to Beatran. Beatran back up top to Gibson. Gibson, right side to Fobbs. Fobbs feeds back to Gray. Ten on the shot clock. Gray going to drive. Gray lays it up. Basket's good, and he's fouled. Jawan Gray with his first points of the night. That's on Curran, his fourth. So he and Spasayevich, each with four fouls, and Jawan Gray, who is a perfect 12 of 12 from the foul line this year, misses. 62-59, Tigers by three, 4.48 to go. Jackson brings it over midcourt. Dribbles into the left corner, takes it down the lane, flips it into the right corner. Owens for a three. Air ball, grabbed by Tunstall. Gives it off to Beatran. Beatran down the right side. Allen going to take it. Stop, turn, and he traveled. Lost his pivot foot. So it stays a three-point game, 62-59, to with 4.23 to go. Jackson brings it over midcourt. Dribbling to his left. Jackson going to drive. Jackson, reverse layup is good, and he's fouled. So he's been quiet all night. And now in the last minute and a half, he's come up with five points and about to try to tie it as he will go to the free throw line. 70.4% on the year. Nakai Sanders back in. Dennis Tunstall will sit down. 62-61 Towson, 4.15 remaining in the game. Jackson, six foot two senior from Missouri City, Texas. Darnell Rogers is their leading scorer on the season of 14 points, but he is out hurt tonight. Jackson trying to convert the three point play. He does, we're tied at 62. Gibson, Fobbs, Beatran, Gray, and Sanders on the floor for the Tigers. Owens, Jackson, Curran, Kennedy, and Aachen on the floor for UMBC. Beatran gets it to Gibson between the circles. Right wing to Fobbs. Back over on the left. Gibson, NBA three. No good. Rebound. 
Aachen gets fouled by Beatran, and Aachen will go to the free throw line when we come back. 352 left in the game. Towson 62, UMBC 62. From Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. While science has become better at treating people, we can't ever forget the importance of how we simply treat people. At MedStar Health, we get that when you need to see a doctor, you might need to see one today. Or if you need help on the weekend, you'll need an urgent care that's, you know, open weekends. And if you need to stay home, then a video visit might be just what you need. The best of our minds, the best of our hearts. MedStar Health, it's how we treat people. Heed the call. Play new Raven scratch-offs from the Maryland Lottery. You could win up to $100,000 instantly. Tigers and the Retrievers tied at 62 with three minutes and 52 seconds remaining in this ball game. Brian Fobbs with 24 to lead all scores. Kennedy's got 15 for UMBC. Tigers out rebounding the Retrievers, 25 to 20. And Daniel Aachen will be at the foul line for the first time tonight. He is a 35.5% free throw shooter. Just 11 of 31 on the year. Junior from London. Front end of the one and one. Not even close, but Curran gets the rebound. And the Tigers back on defense. UMBC with another chance to take the lead. Jackson up top, drives, flips it, right corner. Kennedy for three, no. And we've got a whistle and a foul on Nakai Sanders, that'll be his fourth. So back to the foul line goes Aachen. This may not be a bad thing. He's got 12.7 rebounds, he's had a nice game. And he makes the free throw, he is now 12 of 33 on the year. 63-62 UMBC. 3.37 to go. Retrievers have one timeout left. Tigers have three. Both teams in the double bonus from here on out. Second one by Aachen on the way. No good. Rebound Sanders. So the Tigers with a chance to take the lead. Dotton brings it over midcourt. Gets it up top to Sanders. Gives it back to Dotton on the left wing. Dotton. Feeds to Fobbs out at the midcourt circle. Bounce it up top to Sanders. Hand it off to Dotton. Dotton gives it to Gray. Gray steps back. Three-point shot is good. 65-63. Tigers by two. Gray with five points on the evening. Jackson gets it on the right side. Back to Owens up top. Feed on the left wing to Jackson, back up top to Owens. Owens gets it out to Kennedy. Kennedy back down low, work it to Aachen. Aachen feeds it with two on the shot clock, reverse layup, no, and a foul. As the shot clock was expiring, 
on Jawan Gray, his first. And that will send Owens, I believe, to the free throw line. Owens on the year, 77.3%. Transfer from UMBC and Pat Scary. Did Pat call a timeout or is this just a replay stoppage? They're going to look to see if the shot clock went off. In fiscal year 2019, the Maryland Lottery contributed an all-time record of $593.1 million to support education, public health and safety, environmental preservation, and more. The Maryland Lottery, when you play, everyone wins. So the Tigers leading by two, 65-63. And they did look at the shot clock and say, no violation. So L.J. Owens, the William & Mary transfer, will be at the line shooting two. That was not a timeout by the Tigers. That was just the officials looking at the replay. All right, so L.J. Owens going to shoot two here. Try to tie this game up. Sophomore from Annapolis hits the first, 65-64. Owens looking to tie it up, and he does. He's got 13. Tigers are tied with UMBC at 65 apiece, 233 to go in the game. Gray has it up top. Pass over to Dotton. Dotton trying to feed it to Fobbs. Can't find him open. Gets it to Gray. Drives the baseline. Puts up a jumper. No. Tapped by Sanders. is good. Nakai with his sixth rebound. Taps it home. He's got 15 in the Tigers by two. 67. 65. 205 to go. Owens feeds left side. Three by Kennedy. No. Rebound Sanders. Nakai gives it out to Beatran. And the Tigers with a two-point lead and a minute 50 to go. Dotton has it top right. Owens right there on him. Feeds it to Gray up top. Gray back over to Dotton. 12 on the shot clock. Out to Fobbs, top left. Fobbs comes down the left side. Steps back, gives it to Sanders. Back to Fobbs, going to launch a three. No good. Rebound, Beatran, and a foul going to be called on UMBC. So Allen Beatran going to go to the foul line. That's going to go against Owens, his second. So Beatran to the line to shoot two on the year. Allen is 85.7%. Sophomore from Philly. Going to try to make it a two-possession game. Hits the first. 68-65. 129 to go. Second free throw on the way for Beatran. Is no good. Stays a one-possession game with a minute 27 to go. Jackson brings it over midcourt for UMBC. Jackson. Backing up, Dotton covering him, gets by Dotton, flips it back out, three-point shot by Owens, no. Ball tapped in the air, and Dotton comes away with it out near midcourt. A minute eight to go. As Dotton brings it over midcourt, top right. Dotton passes on the right side to Fobbs. Tigers by three to Gray, left wing to Beatran. 12 on the shot clock, back up top to Dotton. Dotton to Fobbs, right side. Bryan backs up, starts forward. Bryan steps back, three point shot, it's good! 71-65. Tigers by six, Fobbs with 27. 
and a career-high seven three-point baskets made. So Brian Fobbs, and I don't think I'm telling tales out of school. Pat Scary and him had a long, animated conversation after Saturday night's game where, if you were listening to the post-game show, Coach Scary was not very complimentary of Brian's play on Saturday night. He kind of challenged Brian, and Brian, to say he uh, – Lived up to the challenge tonight. He certainly has with 27 points and seven three-point baskets. So the Tigers with that five-point lead. And Towson still has a couple of timeouts left. UMBC with one timeout left. As Towson going to try to get back to 500 with the uh, field goal with the uh, victory here tonight. By the way, Brian Fobbs is just one off of tying Gary Neal's school record of eight threes in a game. Gary did it against Georgia State back in 2007. And Gary's here tonight because he's a graduate manager for the Tigers. So he would, he'd would he love to see Brian tie his record right now. Tigers by six with 41 seconds to go. Retrievers quickly over midcourt. Kennedy hands it off to Jackson. Jackson up top. Retrievers can't take too long here. Back to Kennedy, back to Jackson. Jackson drives, Jackson pumps, goes up. Basket's good and he's fouled with 29.6 seconds left. And that's on Dennis Tunstall, his third. So Jackson to the foul line. Gibson in, dotting out. That is done for one reason only. Gibson is a much better free throw shooter than Ja'Kai Dotton. Tunstall out and Sanders in. Jackson at the line. He's got eight points all here in the second half. All here, really, in the last five minutes of the ball game. Trying to make it a three-point game with 29.6 left. And he does. 71-68, Towson. As Gibson looks to inbound. Gets it into Fobbs. Fobbs gets fouled by Jackson. That'll be Jackson's second. And Fobbs will go to the line to shoot two. So Brian already with 27 tonight. Dotton and Tunstall set to check in as Fobbs will be shooting two free throws. Only 1.8 seconds came off the clock. Fobbs, first free throw on the way is good. He's got 28. Gibson out, Sanders out, as Tunstall and Dotton check back in. Tigers by four, as Fobbs looks for his 29th point. On the way, and good. 73-68, Jackson gets it over midcourt. Dribbles to his left. Feeds it, Curran gonna launch a three, no good. Rebound, Fobbs, and Bryan. Cross court, threw it to nobody, threw it away. He should have just stood there, UMBC would have fouled him. 15.4 seconds left. Retrievers still have a timeout left, Tigers have two left. As Kennedy gets it in to Owens. Owens up top, back to Kennedy, gonna launch a three, no. Rebound, Tunstall, and Dennis gets fouled. No, they're gonna say Dennis was on the baseline when he grabbed the rebound, and it's over to UMBC, but we're gonna have a replay, of course. Two officials standing right there, nobody can see, and now we gotta look at the replay. 
8.7 seconds left. Hey, you got to have a replay. Again, I, I don't understand when you have two guys standing right there that can't see what happened. Wow. The Green Turtle has been your local sports bar and grill since 1976, serving burgers, wings, and Maryland-inspired crab dishes alongside local craft beer. Stop by one of our more than 25 Green Turtle locations in Maryland and eat plenty, drink well, and leave happy. Tigers leading 73-68, 8.7 seconds left in the ball game. Hofstra has defeated Stony Brook 71-63, so a good night for the association. And uh, if you're uh, if you're not a fan of the mothership down in College Park, like some of us. You'll be happy to know Penn State is leading Maryland 70 to 63 with 40 seconds left in that ball game in uh, Happy Valley. And they will be happy if uh, Penn State beats the number four team in the country. The number one team in the country, Louisville. They're losing to Texas Tech 56 48. All right. So the officials still talking. Seventy-three sixty-eight. Eight point seven seconds left. And it'll be Tiger Ball. So the Tigers just got it to get it in and UMBC's gonna foul somebody. Gibson gets it into Fobbs, and Fobbs gets fouled. Five-tenths of a second come off the clock. So Brian with 29, he has a chance to become the first Tiger since, well, since himself to score 30 points in a game. He scored 32 against UMBC last year. And it was almost one year to the day. He did it on December the 11th of last year. And he gets his 30th point of the night. The Tigers with a six point lead. Bryan can make it a three possession game with 8.2 seconds left. So the senior getting set. Puts it up, got it. 75-68, Tigers by seven. Fobbs with 31. And Pat Scary calls his final timeout with 8.2 seconds left. Getting the Tigers off for 10 days after this one. Not back in action until December 20th, a week from Friday, when they will take on Liberty at 5 o'clock from the Entertainment and Sports Arena in Washington, D.C., I'll be with you at 4.45 for that one. Liberty, one of uh, only, I believe, eight now undefeated teams left in the country. So, if the Flames don't lose between now and then, the Tigers have a chance to knock off one of the few undefeateds left. All right, UMBC to bring the ball into play. As Curran will put it in, gets it into Jackson. Jackson brings it over midcourt, five seconds left, going to launch a three-point shot, and he makes it with 2.8 seconds left. Tigers down four. Dotton. Looks, gets it into Fobbs, and Fobbs gets fouled with 2.3 seconds left. So Brian will go to the line and look to get the 33 points tonight. That would break his career high of 32, which he had last season. So 
So Fobbs at the line. Hits the first, he's got 32. Last Tiger to score 33 points a game was William Adalamoto against UNCW on February 23rd of 2017. And Brian has just done that. Tigers by six, the other way, three point shot at the buzzer is no good by LJ Owens and the Tigers get the victory. Towson goes to five and five. UMBC falls to five and six. So the Tigers will go into final exams, which begin tomorrow with a clear head and a happy soul as they get the victory tonight, 77 to 71. We'll come back, talk with the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary. Look at the final stats. Our score from CQ, a final. Towson, 77, UMBC, 71. From Van Wagner Sports, this is the Towson Tigers Basketball Network. Wesley is a truck driver. I drive a truck, I love what I do. A truck driver with IRS troubles. They told me I owed them $43,000. It got really bad. He had quite a few letters in the mail. They were talking uh, about wage management, coming out from the house, my car. Yeah, they, they don't play around. I seriously thought that I was going to lose everything. One sleepless night, Wesley finally made a call to Optima Tax Relief at 2 a.m. I kind of figured I'd get a machine, but I didn't. I actually got to talk to an actual person in the middle of the night. He found just what he was looking for. Oh, they were great people. And a team of people that know what they're doing. Optima Tax, they know what they're doing. Optima Tax Relief came through with flying colors. I saved an incredible amount of money. Happy that they come close. I was absolutely overjoyed. Take Wesley's advice. If you're in any kind of trouble with the IRS, call Optima Tax Relief. Don't trust anybody else. Call Optima for a free consultation. Call 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. 800-354-2840. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Keep the chill in the air this winter, not in your home, with a new high-efficiency heating and air conditioning system from Farnan and Dermer. They're the comfort guys, and for over a century... Farnan and Dermer have been keeping families like yours comfortable with their energy-efficient HVAC systems. Make sure your heating unit's working by scheduling a tune-up with Farnan and Dermer today for just $89. Or you can purchase a new system with 0% financing for 60 months. Farnan and Dermer's powerful train systems will keep you comfortable day and night, and will keep your utility bill in check. Take it from the Comfort Guys, it's hard to stop a train. So keep warm this winter and call the Comfort Guys today at 410-367-7777 or visit them online at farnandermer.com. Don't miss the end of winter sale, up to $500 off a new heating and cooling system. Call Farnan and Dermer for more details. Farnan and Dermer, Baltimore's most reliable air conditioning, heating, and plumbing service. That number again, 410-367-7777. They're the Comfort Guys, and they've been making your family's comfort their family's business since 1902. Scott Garceau telling you about the team at SH Block Tax. You wouldn't go to a game without your coach, then why face the heavy-hitting team IRS without the professionals? SH Block Tax is your trusted source for experienced, effective tax resolution. Meet them face-to-face -face and see why. Mention this ad for $250 off resolution. Call 410-727-6006. That's 410-727-6006 or mdtaxattorney.com. CBS Sports Radio 1300 is WJZ AM Baltimore, WJZ HD3 Keatonsville Baltimore. Online at radio.com. This is the Tiger Wrap on the Towson Sports Network with all the post-game stats and analysis. Brought to you by Under Armour. Protect this house. And MedStar Sports Medicine, the official sports medicine provider for Towson Athletics. Now, here's the voice of the Tigers, Spiro Marekis. Coach Pat Scary challenged Brian Fobbs for tonight's ball game and Brian took the challenge, and he certainly came through with flying colors as he scores 33 points tonight, 9 of 16 from the field, 7 of 9 from three-point range, and 8 of 8 from the free throw line as he uh, leads the Tigers to a 77-71 victory over the Retrievers of UMBC here at CQ Arena in front of 1,811. Take a look at the final stats. For the game, UMBC shot very well, 26 of 50. They were 7 of 18 from three-point range and 12 of 14 from the free-throw line. 
Tigers were 25 of 54, 46.3%. 10 of 22 from three-point range. That's 45.5%. And 17 of 22 from the free throw line, 77.3%. For the retrievers, they were led by Keandra Kennedy. He had 15 points on the night. Daniel Aachen and L.J. Owens, each with 13 points. 12 for K.J. Jackson. 8 for Max Curran. 4 for Spasajovic four for Horvath, and two for Jack Schweitz. Rebounding-wise, the retrievers were led by Aachen with eight, five for Horvath, three each for Curran and Jackson. Their leading assist man was Jackson. He had three, uh, only one steal on the night for UMBC. For the Tigers, led by Brian Fobbs with those 33 points, 15 for Nakai Sanders, nine points for Dennis Tunstall, six for Beatran, five each for Dotton, and Gray, four points for Thompson. Rebounding-wise, Tunstall led the way with nine. Sanders had eight, five for Gray, four for Dotton, three for Fobbs. Leading assist men for the Tigers, Dotton with three, Gibson with three, and between the two, your point guards had six assists and just one turnover between the two of them. Tigers had three steals tonight from Tunstall, Fobbs, and Gray. So the Tigers trailed at halftime, 33 to 30, UMBC led by eight with 2.39 to go in the first half, and the Tigers went on a little bit of a run to cut it to three at halftime. Towson's biggest lead of the game was seven with eight seconds left in the ballgame. Points off of turnovers tonight, UMBC 13, the Tigers with 14. Points in the paint, 28 for UMBC, 26 for the Tigers. Second chance points, 16 for Towson, five for for UMBC, fast break points, 11 for the Tigers, four for UMBC, bench points, nine for the Tigers, 23 for UMBC. So the Tigers win this one, 77 to 71. They get back to 500 for the season. And joining us now, the head coach of the Tigers, Pat Scary, and coach, you talked about uh, how you 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 expected more out of Brian Fobbs, and you were hoping for a breakout game. You certainly got it tonight. Yeah, I mean, he was absolutely sensational. You know, credit to UMBC, they're good. Um, we, we couldn't guard them. We, we were worried. I told you we needed to guard the ball and stay in front, which we've done all year. We didn't do it tonight, um, and, and we almost paid for it. Now, I will say that we obviously uh, found a way late. You know, I didn't play some of our freshmen as much as I normally do. Uh, I have to look at the tape. Maybe I should have. We didn't. It just seemed like we needed to ride fobs, you know what I mean, and... And, I, and I, uh, I didn't have much. I thought Juwan maybe gave us a little more of a burst. He made a big shot. And then, obviously, Nakai was really, really good, I thought. He really, was, really, really good. good. So, yeah, I mean, one thing, I think it's going to be different guys, different nights. We were able to hang in there. Not the best. thought we played hard. Um, thought we were a little sloppy. I just told the guy, you know, listen, this is a, against a good team, local game. We needed to find a way. To your credit, you did. It's been a long week. You've been with us. We got a, a trip canceled up to Ithaca. Went over to Morgan in, in, in a wild packed environment and then we had a charter canceled on us and we get up there you know six hours before the game and yeah fought, it's, fought it's, like it's heck. Been so a it was, rough week yeah so uh the, the things i like we got a lot of stuff to work on but there's a lot of reasons why we probably could have fractured but you like to work on stuff after a win thousand percent yeah need to find a way and, and I'm, I'm, i thought especially the couple of these seniors they really strained for us tonight and so did dennis nine and nine so that was that was big. So, you know, we go into exams, and next couple of days off, then we'll get to work and start preparing for a good chance to play Liberty, one of only whatever it is, five, six teams undefeated in the country. So, Yeah, uh, you know, uh, and again, Brian tonight had it. Well, he didn't have a chance because he didn't take a shot, but he was just one off of tying Gary Neal's school record of eight three-pointers yeah. in a game. Well, we're, so we're worried about wins. would have been nice for Gary to, yeah. to we're, see we're that. We're worried about wins. We're I know worried you're worried about wins. About yep. wins. That's, That's it, brother. Thank right. you. Thanks. Coach Pat Scary is the Tigers win this one by a final of 77 to 71. So that'll do it from here at CQ Arena. We will uh, be with you not for another 10 days. December 20th when the Tigers take on Liberty. Game time is 5 o'clock from the Entertainment and Sports Arena in Washington, D.C. I'll be with you at 445 with the pregame show. So thanks to uh, Nolan and Kyle back at the studios of CBS Sports Radio 1300. We will talk to you on the 20th. Again, the final score here tonight, Towson 77, UMBC 71.
Have a great week, folks. Man, how can I afford gas for that big ass?